Hello, last week our artist should have drawn out your favorite shape on your base. And then after creating your favorite shape, we are going to begin to paint that shape. And I'm done painting my shape. I've used orange and blue and violet for the border. You will make up your mind on what color you would like to have, but every time you bump into a purple line or whatever color you have on your lines, if you have blue or green, you're going to need to switch to a new color. And so I've done that around the outside of my base. I've also done that on the actual shape that I made for my base. So I'm going to put my paint aside. I'm also going to begin to adhere or glue my beautiful sculpture onto the base of my stable. And so my stable, I'm not going to be placing onto grass or outside onto concrete. So I need to have something to keep it stable. So I'm taking glue and each point, touch point, I am adding glue to that touch point on the base of my sculpture. And like all works of art, we're needing to make sure everyone knows whose artwork it is. And so I'm going to be making a name tag. So I've carefully marked the area that I plan on tucking underneath the base and putting glue. I will add a line on the top a line on the bottom and now I'm adding fancy letters and each of my fancy letters have dots on the ends of them so I'm putting a dot on the end of the G a dot on the ends of the R and each of the letters of my name you will use your first name on your art in my case my name is Ms. Grange, and so I'm adding all of those dots on each part now I'm hoping you can see that I've made the same designs on the top and the same designs on the bottom. What is that called? Oh, you're right. That's called symmetry. And so we're going to be using a symmetrical design on our beautiful name tags. And then after we trace it with black marker, we'll add a bit of color with our colored markers. Enjoy making your name tag for your art. Thank you.